Welcome back to Web Cafe AI. We do daily chat GPT and AI videos for your personal and business life. In today's video, we're going to be exploring the topic of how to get your first client for your AI automation agency. This is going to be encompassed in our big playlist we're doing here at Web Cafe AI, where we're going to show you methods and ways in order to acquire clients for your AI automation agency, but also ways to build out actual applicable services that you can start selling for your agency now. As you see here, we already have two videos that show you two different services you can start selling now, so make sure to check those out. In this video, let's go ahead and walk through the steps of acquisition all the way to conversion for a client. The way we're gonna be structuring today's video is gonna be six different modules. We're gonna start off with creating effective landing pages, finding your client, contracts, providing the service for that client, job delivery, and then we're gonna end on closing thoughts about the process that we described today. Looking at the first module today, we're gonna to be looking at creating effective landing pages as this is gonna be our way to acquire potential leads and convert them into customers. And as you know, here at Web Cafe AI, we are a strong supporter of the CMS and Web Builder Webflow. Creating an effective landing page encompasses four main things. You want a clear idea of what your offer is, you want engaging design, you want a strong call to action, and you want mobile optimization. As we've shown in other videos in this playlist, you can find a ton of different templates that you can start using now in your agency. Make sure to subscribe as we plan on creating a video that's going to showcase from beginning to end us developing a landing page specific for an AI automation agency and using Webflow as the back end. You're going to learn everything you're going to need in order to create an effective landing page with Webflow. Once you create your effective landing page, that's gonna have a simple UI, a clear message and clear services you offer. The next stage is gonna be finding clients that are gonna be able to purchase and start using your services. The first stage of understanding who your clients will be and how to engage with your clients is first you need to understand your niche. Understanding your niche encompasses what you are gonna do primarily as an AI automation agency, whether that's customer service, social me media management, data analysis, and so on. Once you can define your niche, you can then define a target. So in the context of social media management, maybe a good target to you to suit your services for would be restaurants. Once you have established who your target audience would be, you're gonna to wanna to understand what your typical client would look like as when engaging in conversation and communication with this typical client is gonna be best suited to actually use the terminology that they see within their industry and not sound like you have never dealt with maybe someone in the construction business or the real estate business. Once you start diving more and establishing a client repertoire, you're gonna be able to better understand who your clients are and the exact pain points that seem to be reoccurring within that specific market niche. For example, a big market gap that's occurring in the restaurant industry is they may provide the ability to, for you to reserve tables on their website, get an idea about the restaurant itself on their website, but not necessarily create content around the restaurant on their website. Therefore, a good service to provide as a quote unquote Trojan horse to start upselling other services would be an AI article generator where they don't necessarily have to care about the end product because of the fact that it's already been fine tuned to the type of content they want to curate. So once you understand your niche, your target market, and the typical characteristics of your clients, the following tools that you need to understand is how am I even gonna access or contact these potential leads? And as you see here, we got a couple of ways to do this. Now, when you're just starting out, it's very important to be clear on what your services are and articulate how that provides value to your potential clients as the best ways to approach as a beginner AI automation agency would be providing standardized services on Fiverr, for example, or alternatively, you could use platforms like Upwork and Freelancer and start applying to jobs that are within your niche. Furthermore, if you provide your services on Fiverr as a fixed price, it's not only gonna give you organic traffic from Fiverr, but it's also gonna give you an idea of the demand of the underlying service you're providing. Therefore, you can adjust your pricing on the market's trends. Therefore, overall advice when it comes to finding clients is be very clear on your business, what your business does, and how your business operates. Due to the fact that AI automation in itself is a brand new industry that is just emerging now, so a lot of businesses may be hesitant to even be onboarded to begin with. But once they fully understand the value that you can provide through your agency, it's going to be a lot easier to convert on them. And using the same type of dictation you use with that client, you'll be able to convert on further ones as you'll be able to understand more about what they like to hear and how you like to propose it. 
Now, past platforms like Freelancer, TopSoul, and TaskRabbit, there is another alternative way in order to acquire clients. This could be through organic methods such as social media, but also could be through cold leads with email. In order to showcase this, let's look at an example restaurant found here in San Francisco and see what their pain points were and see how we can apply AI automation to it. All right, so we went ahead and jumped to the San Francisco restaurant here. And before we continue, I want to point out something very important here. As an AI automation agency, you are brand new to the market. We are developing and creating value that hasn't been seen before due to the fact that now we're able to lower costs for business through employee reduction or overall business owner labor reduction. Now, that in itself is huge value. But when communicating to businesses like this and businesses that may not know the full comprehension of what AI can do, you will need to know and understand the best way to communicate your message across in order to ensure higher conversion. Simplest way I can put this is that in the 90s, when web development agencies were coming up and they were trying to convince businesses to get a website, the barriers of entries were still high due to the fact that maybe a business didn't really understand what the internet was or didn't really understand the value a website could deliver. And as you see now, websites are everywhere. So now we have a huge opportunity as an AI automation agency to really approach and single out these businesses that have websites established and therefore allowing us to really integrate AI with them as AI is gonna be able to really lower their costs and make their business more productive. Okay, so looking through this website, we see it's a single page website with the tabs associated with each section up here. And when we really look through this, we can understand, okay, they have a nice about me. They have obviously the reservation, purchase a gift card, you know, very simple stuff. But what you'll notice with a lot of these successful restaurants or restaurants in general is their lack of content creation, whether that is through social media or through article generation. Therefore, a really good AI service you can provide this specific restaurant would be an AI automated article generator on specific topics that they care about and therefore getting more foot traffic through their door. Now, a couple of tips I want to give you when vetting and looking for a specific business to offer your services for is going to be how to find a contact page or way to contact that specific business. A lot of the times, if you scroll all the way down, you'll be able to find the specific contact in their footer. As you see here, we got the info sevenhillssf.com. Furthermore, as a developer, a very important thing to understand before approaching a business is their underlying firmware, what they're working with. A quick little tip here is if I went ahead and to right click here and I did inspect, I'll be able to understand where their system is based out of um, in the sense of what did they build their website on. So a fast way to do this is you can really do, you know, fast things like Shopify. Okay, nothing showed up for Shopify, uh, Webflow and so on. But as you'll notice, if I put in Shopify there, we have our, you know, nice little squarespace.com here, which tells me essentially that this entire website was built on Squarespace. And as an AI automation developer, that tells me, okay, well, if we're going to be working with Squarespace here in some context, we need to understand if API documentation is available. Have we worked with Squarespace before when it comes to this kind of service and so on. Therefore, when tailoring your responses and ways to approach a cold lead in this context, you're going to want to personalize the email. You're going to want to provide high value content. Now you might ask yourself, Corbin, in this context, what's high value content? How am I going to get this individual's attention? That's very simple. Think of it this way. You found a San Francisco restaurant. They currently don't have article generation. Go ahead and mock up a article that's generated on a specific topic for this restaurant and provide that as either a doc or some type of link where they can actually visit and view an AI article generated on the specific niche they're in. This is going to provide two things for the potential lead. First things to provide is trust as it see that this is a personalized message with a personalized piece of content that was added for their specific restaurant. Second, it's going to give the potential lead the ability to read one of these articles. Once they read one of these articles and see the value you can grab out of the article and that it's actually high quality, they will start clicking in their head. Okay, AI actually has a place now and it can provide high value content. Next, you're going to want to do a direct CTA within that specific lead, such as a schedule, a meeting with me or fill out a form. And finally, once you send that initial email, you're going to always want to follow up, maybe provide a second article example, maybe provide a use case, maybe provide a overall cost associated with this service and so on. Once we have the client's interest and there seems to be interest to actually closing a deal here. Now we got to jump into the next important part about getting your first client, which is going to be the contracts associated with your work. Now here at Web Cafe AI, we suggest using a document signing service like PandaDoc 
they give a lot of access to their API, which then allows us to do later AI automations when we have to scale and deal with multiple clients at once, you know, allowing for preset templates and preset documents to be ready and available when needed. Now, due to the fact that we can't offer legal services here, we will just define the four main things you want to make sure that's in your contract. You want to define the services that are going to be associated here, and we're going to see a little bit of an example statement of work, so stay tuned. We're going to want to establish the terms, the duration, the payment, and so on. You want to address the confidentiality. Most of the times, when you're accessing back end of a business, you want to make sure to ensure to them that their data is essentially safe, and you're not necessarily spreading it or selling it to someone else. And finally, you want to make sure that you have some type of clause within that contract about conflict resolution as i said before this is not legal advice consult with a lawyer as we said before the reason this platform is amazing is due to the fact that panadoc allows us to have a lot of integrations with it it has high security and you have a lot of pricing options you can start with panadoc for completely free now that we understand a service we can use to start signing contracts through the cloud let's go ahead and understand an example statement of work that could possibly be given to a business now, if you're familiar with legal contracts, this would typically be found within Exhibit A or Exhibit B of the contract where everything else associated with the contract would have already been put out before it. You want to typically structure these contracts where you can have statements of work at the end. Therefore, it's clear to the potential client. Just with this example, as you see here, we have a couple of major points here, such as the purpose of the project, the scope of work, the deliverables, timeline and pricing and payment terms. In order to ensure complete clarity, make sure to input as much information as possible in each one of these sections, as this is going to allow for clear communication between you and your client. One thing I want to point out is, for example, in the deliverables, it says regular system maintenance update reports. You may not want to add that as an encompassed uh, part of the plan. If it's a fixed price, you may want to add that, for example, as an upsell. Upsell in this context could be maybe you provide that service, but $100 a month. Okay, now that we've outlined everything that should be encompassed in a contract and understanding the best softwares to use to build out these contracts and sign them in the cloud, let's go to understand the best ways and tools to use when providing these services. Now, there are four main tools you can start using when building out these flows. You're going to want to use Zapier for automations, OpenAI for AI, WebCafe software for pre-built solutions, and then Basecamp as a CRM. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into every single one and see how we can leverage it. Starting off, we're going to be looking at Basecamp here. Essentially, the way you want to approach Basecamp is this is going to be your main way to communicate with a client once they've signed a contract and they are post the cold to warm lead funnel. Now, I went ahead and created an example project here at Web Cafe AI where you're going to have a couple of different sections when it comes to your AI automation service, such as a messaging platform that allows your client to message you directly rather than going through an email chain. Then you have your business assets. There's a lot of context where businesses need to provide logos or different things that are going to be used in the AI automation that can be used there. Think of it like a Google Drive, but on Basecamp. From here, you can also add a resource section. So maybe there is stuff that is reoccurring with every single client and you want to make sure every single client knows this. You can have a resource section where either they can look at PDFs, different information about the services and so on. Finally, one thing that we like to do is provide a timeline or some type of mapping for the client to understand what process their AI automation is currently in, therefore leading to more clarity and less communication. And lastly, you're going to want to go ahead and provide a link to a scheduling for a phone call. As a lot of times, if clients are confused or want to talk to you directly, you want to give them a readily available link to schedule a call, therefore to really clarify what's going on with the service or different questions they may have about the service. So now that you have a good understanding of the CRM you could possibly use in your AI automation agency in order to ensure more clarity with your client, let's go ahead and look at the following thing here, which is going to be the Web Cafe software marketplace. This is where you're going to be able to purchase pre-built AI automation solutions that you can therefore sell to clients or request new AI automation solutions to be made. Jumping over to our marketplace here, you'll see there'll be a ton of different AI automations you can start using right now. And you'll be able to directly look at that by just quickly clicking AI automations. And we have a ton of different pre-built AI automations that you can start either selling to clients or integrating into your own backend. This encompasses AI email funnels, an AI article generator, AI niche treat, an AI form responder, and so on. One other thing we want to point out here is that you have the ability to put your email right there and be subscribed to a marketing list where all we send you is when new AI automations are being built out and are published, therefore allowing you to possibly add more services to your AI automation firm. If you want to learn more about how the process works and how the software is implemented, go ahead and go up to our tab here saying how it works, download a sample order and watch our comprehensive tutorial showcasing the entire process from start to finish when integrating our software.
to clarify, when we say software, we mean we are building AI automations off the backs of Zapier and OpenAI. Finally, a very powerful part of this website is our AI training. So if you want more comprehensive tutorials that really show you complex ways AI automation can help a business, check out these different training videos here. Now, if you're in a situation where you're working with a client and they want a specific AI automation and you may not know how to build it out yet, go ahead and request an AI automation and one of our web cafe AI engineers will build it out and then proceed to list it on this marketplace. Another powerful tool you can start using when you're building out these services, if you run into a roadblock, is make sure to check out our playlist here called Zapier for AI. And you're going to be able to get a comprehensive look at ways AI integrates with different apps. For example, let's say one of your clients has an AI automation that has to do with Google Docs. You can check out our Google Doc tutorial and you may learn something new on how to leverage AI with that specific app. Finally, as we've gotten a lot of demand from AI automation agencies and businesses when it comes to AI and running into roadblocks, you can go ahead and check out our consultation as we're going to be able to fix different solutions and guide you in the right direction when it comes to specific things that you want to achieve with AI. Now, what's so cool about running an AI automation agency is the ability to scale. This is due to the fact that once you build out a pre-built AI automation solution, such as an AI article generator, you're going to be able to send that flow to multiple businesses. So in this context, we went ahead and just grabbed a screenshot from one of our tutorials we did here recently about showing how code works with AI. But in theory, let's say we had a pre-built flow here code by Zapier integrations. Maybe it's a specific code Zapier flow that allows a business to find data faster. We can now use that solution we created for one business and sell it as a service for multiple businesses. That's why as you develop as an AI automation agency and you learn more about how to leverage AI automation, you're going to be able to start selling services a lot faster, a lot easier due to the fact that you understand your client's pain points and you can always do a simple copy and paste. Once you copy and paste, you would take that pre-built AI automation flow input the specific data that is requested from that business into that flow and they will be able to execute perfectly. So once you have completed the AI automation job that you have outlined in your contract, it is now time for delivery into the business that you're working with. So that encompasses a couple of things. Now, the fact that you have them within a CRM, such as Basecamp, you're going to be able to communicate them directly. And you may have to outline a couple of things when delivering said AI automation. One good thing is always make sure you're testing your AI automations before delivering them to make sure they work flawlessly with the business you're working with. Finally, you want to make sure you get your client's approval and they're completely satisfied with how the AI automation works in their back end and there is no questions. Next, there may be a request for specific documentation. So they might not understand a specific block in the flow. They may not understand a specific thing that works in the flow. That just requires a simple clarification within your CRM with whatever inquiry they may have. And finally, make sure you schedule some type of follow up asking for input and advice on the way you conducted business, as this is going to give you better ways to approach future clients that are similar within that niche, as you're going to be able to better understand what they're looking for when conducting business for specifically in the context of an AI automation agency. Perfect. Now you understand from start to finish how to acquire your first client for your AI automation agency and the different tools and methodologies that we use here at WebCAF AI. Let me know in the comments if you felt like I missed something or you want me to cover something in regards to your AI automation agency. As I said before, make sure to stay on the lookout for that Webflow landing page tutorial. We plan on doing a comprehensive video from start to finish showing you how to create a landing page for an AI automation agency, the specific keywords. And what's really cool about that tutorial is we're going to show you how to use ChatGPT when building that web page. So it is a lot faster and a lot more effective. As I said at the beginning of the tutorial, we are building out a playlist dedicated for AI automation agency. So make sure to check that out at the end of this video as we're diving into services you can start selling and overviews and tutorials of how to approach and deal with clients. If you feel like you learned something, make sure to like the video. It's completely free and it helps us here at WebCafe AI. If you want to learn more about AI and Zapier, make sure to subscribe. So we're doing daily content here to really help you leverage this new market that is emerging. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at WebCafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.